We are the Liberty Intelligence Organization Network. And this is our news recap show. I am your host. You can call me the captain. Uh, sorry for the pause there. I was just considering whether or not I wanted to film tonight. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. Uh, basically just because I just tried to film this segment and my phone died on me, so I lost that, that footage. Um, but So I'm going to try to rush through it. Now what I want to go over today is I mentioned in the last one, my, the last special report I did about gaslighting. Uh, I mentioned the Department of Homeland Security bullet purchases. Um, I might have already mentioned this in, uh, in prior special reports, um, but I believe in being thorough and spitting out as much information as possible just so people really understand you know, in case you missed one of the earlier ones, you, you'll pick it up in this later video. Um, but what I want to mention is why would they do all this? Now, some people say that they bought all this stuff, and they bought a lot of stuff. It, it goes all together, the drone stuff. I'm going to link all this stuff together right now and explain how it's going to impact your life and, and how it relates to the tyrannical takeover. The drone stuff, though. Again, the drone legislation, which allows them to target American citizens on American soil, um, it has now been verified that that is the goal. That is what they plan to do with drones. Um, so, so that that there's that. Then they've also purchased in the past couple of months 2,500 armored vehicles for Department of Homeland Security and also for local state police who are who have signed on to the Department of Homeland Security agenda, uh, usually through some sort of FEMA course. Um, and again, not all departments within police of state and local police are going to receive armored vehicles. It's only the ones that have agreed to fully sign on to this agenda. Um, so they purchased 2,500 of those in addition to ones they've purchased in the past. So they, they've built up quite an arsenal of armored vehicles. Now you can go look at pictures of these things. They look like light tanks with machine gun holes in them. Um, and when I say machine gun holes, not like they were shot with machine guns, but what I mean is like a little slit for them to slide machine guns out of. Um, so that's what they look like. They're, they're pretty intimidating looking. Some of them are black. They're real intimidating looking. Uh, just, you know, real scary looking machines. Um, so they purchased 2,500 of those in, in the past couple months. In addition to that, they've also purchased, I think, 4,500 rifles, assault rifles, machine guns, uh, semi-automatic and fully automatic, usually switchered. You can switch them. Um, so usually it's a three-round burst, uh, just three-round burst and full auto, uh, usually. Um, so so th they bought 4,500 of those, and then they've also purchased, of course, the two billion bullets, which they lied about and say that they didn't, and then they say they're for training, and then they say they didn't again, and then, and then they keep changing their stories, and it just gets crazy. Um, but, but what I wanted to talk about today is why. Again, I mentioned before, it's possibly for a Civil War scenario. But it could also be for civil unrest scenario. Again, some people think civil war and civil unrest are the same thing. They're different. Civil war would be like groups of people combating each other in some sort of standardized war conflict. Um, civil unrest would be like starving people that are unorganized, just storming and stealing and looting and pillaging, and that has the potential to break down into cannibalistic riots, um, almost a zombie apocalypse sort of scenario. Um, and then, then foreign invasion is the other reasoning, the other possible reasoning behind all this. And again, some people say that they've done it to, to close up ammunition, you know, so it's harder to find ammunition and it's harder to find assault rifles. Um, that, 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 that's, just, uh, that's just a byproduct, really, of, of this agenda. Um, because that would make sense if it weren't for the drones and the armored vehicles. But once you throw the drones and the armored vehicles in the scenario, all of a sudden that doesn't make as much sense anymore. That's not the main reasoning they're buying all this stuff. The main reasoning is they believe there's going to be some sort of conflict on American soil where this stuff will be needed. Um, and again, so foreign invasion, civil unrest, or civil and war, other possibilities. Now, or, of course, the other scenario is all of the above. Um, which is, when I war game it in my mind, that's how I would envision these guys based off of what they've done in the past, based off of the, their usual MO. Uh, it would be an all of the above scenario. They would start civil unrest, they would force people into groups to fight against them, and then at the same time they would bring in or invite foreign enemies to invade a given country because globalists don't belong to any given country. They think their goal is to conquer the whole world. 
so they don't mind watching one country fall. And a lot of people say, well, most of the globalists are American. Uh, you know, well, most of the globalists in the 1940s were Jewish. Uh, that didn't stop them from funding a guy named Hitler. You see, it's not about the group that they belong to or the nation they belong to. It's about their desire to control the entire world. So I really want people to understand that uh, and really, you know, just uh, really more understanding of what all these purchases really signify or represent, some analysis, some understanding, or some different ways of viewing the topic. Um, I want to thank everyone for tuning in, and as always, stay safe, stay strong, stay free, and stay informed.